Today we'll be recording a video tutorial to make a electron application with ionic. So let's get started. Here I've already installed ionic. You should see whether or not your ionic is installed by using the following command ionic info. This gives the detail of the ionic CLI installed on your system. If you have not already installed ionic, you can just install it by using the command and global add ionic. I'm using n. You can use either n or npm. So let's also check you have installed electron by doing electron dash v. I have installed the latest version of Electron as of now and latest version of Ionic. If you have not installed Electron, you can do it again with the same process. Yes. So let's generate our project Ionic start Ion Electron. So I'd like to start it from, let's say, side menu. Once the installing is done, you should see something like this. You can run your app doing Ionic Serve and all those informations. So let's try it. Ionic Serve. Ah, sorry. I need to cd into the project directory, then I can run Ionic serve. So once that is done, your browser should open. Mine browser might not open because I'm inside a Docker. So <clears throat> let's open up the browser. I'm using the latest version of Firefox Quantum. So let's open up. So we can see the Ionic project, Ionic starter, menu starter with side menu and all. So now let us add the dependencies that are required for Electron and add dash dash dev Electron and Electron builder. This would take some time. Also, Let's open up our project in our code editor. I'm using Visual Studio Code. And update our package.json file. All right. So what we need here is author and we need to add certain scripts. Also, we need to add a build script build object like this at the end of your package.json file add a build also add a main and config you can also update the author and description if you like for now I'm just going to keep it simple like this and Yes, the dependencies has been installed. The next step is to create this file, the config webpack config for our project uh, that that is required because Ionic and Electron work at different levels. So we need to make few changes so that Ionic project work with Electron. So let's create a folder at our project root config and inside it let's create a file webpack.config.js so what this file should contain is a uh, ionic config with ionic webpack config with certain changes so we can find the ionic webpack config inside our node modules ionic folder app scripts config webpack.config so first let's copy this 
webpack.config.js and paste it in our webpack.config.js and after that let's update what we need to update is we need to add this externals array so where do we add this is at the dev config we add this after dev tools right or you can add it anywhere like this also in production config we need to add this in production config too so this so latest ionic webpack config has uh, two different configs for dev config and production config so let's save this next step is we need to create this our electron manuscript file so for that let's create a folder electron and then create new file electron.js let's go ahead and copy our code from our blog here you can do the same you can understand this so this is a simple electron script you need to know the basic things about electron to understand this we are importing electron and app and browser window we are creating a new browser window with uh, width 1024 and height 600 and our so we can test our app right now whether or not it works on electron by simply using electron dot in our project directory so this should start up the electron cell and we should see the see that our project is running as an electron app this is a electron cell inside which our project is running let me close this but for the development mode we need to uh, run the ionic app scripts and electron parallelly so we need to use something called foreman so let's add the package and add dev foreman I'm using n but you can follow along with npm too the codes are similar the commands are almost similar once that is done we need to uh, create two files one let's create a proc file in our project root create new file proc file and inside this just copy paste this script I'll be using an instead of npm yeah and start and we need to create another node electron weight ionic this is required uh, so that electron will not give error and wait until the ionic server has started to load the taze this we have already updated our uh, electron .js file you can update it like this let's update our electron .js file also with this and let's add the scripts in our package.json file so let's check whether it is working or not and dev okay So this should start our electron, electron cell, and our ionic should be running. Okay, uh, this can't open the browser. This simply because I'm inside a Docker container. That's not a problem. So if you see the blank window like mine, it's because the electron has loaded the app before it could, uh, before the compiling was done. So just reload. 
and you should see the app. So let's check whether or not hot reloading works. Let's do this. Keep it here. Let's open our Visual Studio code. Let's change the code. Uh, let's go to our home page, home.html, and just change something. Uh, Ionic menu starter. Let's make this Ionic electron starter. So there you go. You can see the changes. So the hot reloading works while developing. So up until now, we are developing an Ionic app, just running it inside the electron cell. So there is no problem viewing this app in browser. So if we reload our browser, we can still view the app and it still works on the browser. But lots of guys, after following the uh, tutorial, part two of the tutorial, they were trying to uh, preview the app in the browser, which will not work because we have implemented electron specific APIs, which will only work inside a electron cell. So we are done with the part one. Now we can run electron app, ionic app inside electron cell. So let's get to the second part and access electron APIs from inside our ionic project. Go to the part two of the tutorial so that we can copy the codes from here. So we will generate a simple service. To do that, we'll go to our command line and use the command ionic generate provider electron. This should generate a provider named electron. So let's open up our provider that we recently generated in Visual Studio Code. The first thing we need to do is import electron libraries. So we can do it simply by simply as this. Okay. Ah, sorry. We have already this. Okay. So we replace the existing code with this. After that, also open up app.module.ts app app.module.ts and there we go we already have the electron provider name it electron provider okay it's already there so we have the provider now let's access the functionality from our home page. So for that, first let's put two buttons. Button, button, let's use primary and let's give it click function is equal to zoom in. Also, let us add next button, zoom out. Zoom out. And let's open home.ts and import. So, in our home.ts, let us import our electron provider. electron provider so it has imported and let us provide it public electron provider and let's create our functions zoom in you can copy paste the code but I'm just doing it here zoom in and zoom out zoom out 
and let's see our electron cell okay once we write these functions then we are done if you have followed along and worked with me and created this go to your electron cell you should see three buttons toggle menu it was before it works as expected and two new buttons zoom in and zoom out let's try zoom in okay zoom out so this is working so we can access any electron APIs from this way in this way so after you have completed the part 2 of the tutorial you will not be able to view your app in the browser let's try it let's try to reload you should get runtime error this is because we have implemented electron specific APIs and this is not supported in the browser so after accessing electron specific APIs the ionic app can only be viewed or developed in electron cell so if you need both web app and electron app you need to keep two separate copies of your ionic project one that does not use electron specific projects that's it thank you guys